Hi, my name is Lawrence Breda, and I'm a returning honor STEM student. For my Rube Goldberg machine, I use gravity, water, magnetism, and light. As for my four mechanisms, gravity was incorporated when the metal plates were angled, making the marble roll down and knock over the cup of water, thus including both water and gravity. While there were other instances of gravity being used, the ramp was the most simple. For light, I used a candle, which burned a string to release a paint cup. Lastly, I used magnetism to hold the swinging paint cup to my machine. While doing this project, I faced many challenges. Some of these challenges led to the hardest part of the machine, which was definitely the pendulum. Firstly, I had to understand the correct way to angle the cup in order for it to do a full rotation. So it took a few different designs to get it right. The second Edison moment I encountered was in the release mechanism, which used magnets to disconnect the cup. The problem was that the magnets were either too strong or too weak. So we ended up covering the strong magnets in tape until they weren't that strong. The third challenge was getting the cup full of paint to dump into the one that actually laid down the paint in the pendulum. We ended up covering the cup completely and cutting a hole in the bottom of it. Combined with the funnel, the two cups lined up perfectly, which enabled for it to make a pendulum. I gained lots of inspiration from my machine through YouTube videos. For the first day of designing, I looked online for other Rube Goldberg machines and noted any mechanisms that fit the criteria. I was really inspired to do pendulum painting because I had seen videos of people creating them at home and I wanted to do the same. Throughout my design phase, I made sketches before creating a final design on Google Slides shown here. My design had two parts, one being the actual swinging platform and the other was a board where all the machines were connected. Even though I had limited supplies and my machine had a huge phase of having one problem after another, I was finally able to make it a fully functional machine. Here's a full video of the machine and thank you so much for watching.